Hello, this is Lord Og. Welcome to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. And in this one, we're going to be looking at hats, masks and weapons. Now, none of these items are things you can buy from a shop. They all have a specific place in the world and you can only get them from there. So we're going to do that and now I'm going to try and skip to each one and make it as quick as possible because there's a lot to do. So uh, I'll not spend much time on each item. So let's uh, get straight into it. Okay, so in this place, there are two items together. The miner's hat and the wide blade knife. The wide bladed knife. Here we are on the map. So you basically need to um, come to just into Big, into Big Valley. It's just south of the G in Big Valley. And uh, it's actually a mine, a mine shaft kind of thing. And you go in. And yeah, on the left hand side, you'll see a pl one of the plungers that sets off dynamite. Go and push it, and it'll cause a cave in. And that's what you, and then you need to go through the cave in. So crawl through here and put your lantern on, it'll make it easier for you. Look round a little bit, and you will find this body here, just laying here. And uh, just near the head is the miner's hat, which will give you light in darkness, it will act like a lantern. And see, you can see now. I can take the lantern off, and uh, the uh, and the hat will provide the light. And in the back of the miner is a wide blade knife. So uh, take that, and let's go on to the next place. Okay, so now we've gone right over to the far west of the map, just west of the Owengila Lake or river, whatever it is. And if you go to exactly where I am, you will find a clearing in the kind of wooded area and uh, on that clearing you'll find like a corpse stood set, set up in the middle stood up in the middle and on it is the pagan mask and you'll take that and that gets you your next unique item right and there it is you can have a quick look at it <laughs> let's move on okay so now we're still over to the west of the map but now we've gone way up into the north as well and uh, right up here where I am you'll find, if you explore a little bit, you'll find a dead bear. And you want to go over to that bear, it'll already be dead, you don't have to kill it. And in that bear, you will find the next weapon that you're gonna get, and it's called the antler knife, which you'll see in a second, so we'll just get that. And for the next item, we're going to go just northwest of Wallace Station. Now in the field where I am, You'll find a fenced off area with a chimney in the center, but we're not going for the chimney. We're actually going to go around the side of here to a little wooden stump, and in it you will find the double bit hatchet. Now one quick reminder, hatchets can be used as a melee weapon, but can also be thrown. If you do throw any of these hatchets, remember to always go and pick them up. If you don't run and pick them up after you've thrown them, then you'll lose them for good. So always pick them up after you've thrown them. Right, let's go on to the next item. For the next item, we're going to journey a little further west from where we picked up the hatchet. You want to go to a place called Watson's Cabin. Once you get there, try and go in and you'll get knocked back out by these four guys that are the son of the woman who's inside. So there's a woman and four guys inside. The mother, I should say. So when they knock you out, you're going to have to kill them. You've got to kill them all so that you can get in. So uh, let's start. Let's do that bit first. In mind, the three were, three on them were easy, but one did get uh, glitched inside. So uh, you're going to have to jump to that one. And once you've killed the fourth one, she will actually come out to get revenge. And she'll, so she'll grab one of their weapons. And all you do is just finish her off too. With a headshot. Okay. Nice family. Now from here you want to enter the house and search everywhere. There is actually a pair, an important pair of earrings in a drawer, gold earrings. Make sure you keep them, you need them for a talisman. You can actually sell them, but don't. You need them for a talisman air, air later. But we're not here for that, we're here for this. Come down the stairs into this basement and you will find a weapons case which you will open up and find the uh, semi-auto shotgun. Now I just quickly want to add, there are a few weapons in the game that you can only get by killing certain people and taking their guns. At the end of this video I will quickly mention the quest you need to be able to do that and uh, tell you the guns that you can get. But for now, that's the semi-auto, let's move on to the next item. 
Okay, so we've gone back to the north. We're now in the snow. So get the warm gear on. We're at the M in Mount Hagen. And what you're going to do here is have a careful look around and you will find what appears to be a uh, soldier of some kind. And uh, the, the, that skeleton is actually wearing your next item. And that item is called the Marion Helmet. Which uh, actually looks kind of cool. So I'll quickly show you what I look like with it on. Oh my god, so sexy. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next item. Okay, so we're back in warmer climates now. And we are just to the south of Window Rock. Which, as you can see, is also, it's also to the west of Fort Wallace. And uh, here we're looking for a little hut. Now you don't need to go into this hut, but you do need to go around to the side of it, around to the right of it. And again, you will find a little wooden stump. And in it is your next item. This is another hatchet, so again it can be thrown. And this one's called the Hunter Hatchet. Remember, yet again, if you throw this, remember to pick it up. If you don't, you'll lose it and you won't get it back. So there you go, Hunter Hatchet. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so now we've come just north from the Hunter Hatchet at Window Rock. And now we're north of there. And you want a little mark, there's a little mark up map, little dot, you can see and you actually want to come here it's a waterfall now the thing is you've got to get behind the waterfall and it's not easy as you can see above there's rocks like a, a you're on a basically a mountain so you might have to go way round to get down to it so have a good search get from above and come down now this item is uh style wise i think this is my favorite hat well, there's a lot of funny unique and great looking hats and masks and masks and that but this one for me from a style point of view it's called the nevada hat and it looks really cool so uh okay let's get to the next item okay so we're back in the way in the north but we've managed to stay away from the snow we are north of fort wallace so north of where we were last time and uh we want to go just north of the eye in amberino and it's east of the uh National of the Wapiti Indian Reservation. Now what you're going to be looking for is something similar to a hitching post like you might see in a town. And against that hitching post you will find a target lean in there. And uh, your next item is in there. It's called the Ancient Tomahawk. And like some of the other ones, it can be thrown. And yet again, I will say it again, if you throw it, pick it up, or you'll lose it for good. So uh, there you go. That's, uh, that's your next one. So let's move on. Okay, so now we've moved south, and we're at Moonstone Pond. So, uh, more in the middle of the map now. And as you can see, you can see where we were, and now we've come all the way down to here. So once here, look round and you'll find a hut. And like the last hut, you don't need to go in, just go to the side, and you'll find your next weapon, which in this case is the Hewing Hatchet. So I'll let you see me uh, grab that one, you'll be able to see it in my hand. Should have done this with the other, sorry about that, I should have gone first person, but it's okay. Now this, yet again, is another throwing weapon, so I don't need to keep repeating the warning, I think you've got it by now, so uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so taking a break from weapons to uh, grab here another hat. So we're at a farm, just uh, west of Emerald Ranch, and you'll see that in this field we have a scarecrow, and your next item is on the scarecrow, it's the hat. Now, it's a little bit high up for you to reach, so you're going to have to shoot it off its head. And uh, there are actually farmers in the house, so get the hat quick and then leave, because they will come and shoot at you. There you go, they're shooting at me now. But anyway, once you've managed to escape the crazed farmers, you are then left with the uh, scarecrow hat. So uh, let's get on to the next item. Okay, so now we have moved just east. Of the three sisters above we are north of the v in new hanover and we're here for another hut and yet again just like the previous huts where we've done this you just go round to the right you don't need to go in the hut there's a tree stump and in the tree stump you will find the next item which is the rusted hunter hatchet and yet again this is another throwable weapon okay so we're here for a rare item now we're over to the right of the map, over to the east. We are north of Annisburg. And what we're here for is a hut. There's a hermit living in this hut, so it is occupied. 
but we need to kill the hermit because the hermit is carrying what we need. So as you arrive at the hut, the hermit will start shouting at you. Eventually he will come out and he's carrying a rare shotgun. So you need to kill him. If you, if you don't kill him, he'll kill you. It's that kind of thing. So kill him. Now, this is what you need to remember. He will drop the shotgun. You need to pick it up. If you die before you pick it up, you'll lose the chance to get it. If you leave the area without picking it up, you'll lose the chance to get it. If you leave the game while you haven't you picked it up, you'll lose the chance to get it. You've got to get the shotgun. Once you've killed him, get the shotgun Get the shotgun picked up. Okay? It's a rare shotgun. You can't get it anywhere else. And of course, you'll only get this. Once you've killed him, you'll only get this one chance to pick it up. So grab it. Here it is. I really like the engraving on the grip of this one. So uh, anyway, let's get on to the next item. Okay, so we're still north of uh, Annisburg, just south of the Roanoke Valley words. And you need to be a bit careful around here because there are bears and cougars and nasty things like that. And if you come where I am, you will find a old Viking kind of vault area in the, uh, in the ground that you can go down into. So what you want to do is you want to, well, it's going to make a note into my journal first. Right, first thing you want to do then is go down into one of the channels that lead to the leading to the vault. But don't enter yet, because as you move to the centre of these channels, there's like a little sacrificial table in the middle. And uh, if you go around that table, you'll find three skulls. And uh, in it is a... And in one of them, as you can see here, is a Viking hatchet. Now yet again, as I've said with other times, it is a throwable weapon. So, uh, you know the warning there. Right, now, you can go inside the vault. Although I say vault, huh? you know, it's not exactly hard to get into. It's just an open area. So, just basically walk inside. Okay, so once you've strolled inside, have a look round and you'll find some skulls. And in front of that is the Viking helmet. Which, uh, it's a bit dark in here to get a good angle or to show you well at, but... Uh, you can get the idea. I'll see what I can do in one second. I think I think you get the. It's 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 a bit of a cramped area, but you can kind of see see what it's like. So that's uh, that's it. Now there is one more item here. It's only for sale. It's not anything important. It's a Viking comb. If you do want the comb, however, go to these skulls, start to destroy them, and when you there you go. It's actually hidden amongst the skulls. So just. Uh, pick that up as I said it's nothing major you can sell it for some money because uh, but that's about it that's about all it's really useful I believe so uh, yeah let's get on to the next item okay for our next item we are actually in Annisburg itself right here just to the, uh, the north of the town now you will want to come to this uh, building area here and again as usual you will see in a little tree in a little tree stump your next uh, item which is the rusted double bit hatchet and yes yet again it is another throwable weapon so uh, back to remembering to pick it up if you throw it there you go so let's move on again okay for our next uh, rather unique item we are south now of Annisburg just uh, south of the R in New Hanover and there you will find a kind of slaughter farm place where they actually cut up all the meat for the area and this is where you'll find your next item now you can just walk on here no one will be hostile just go to this building in the center walk over to this post and you'll find the pig mask <laughs> this is a very unique looking item i actually really like it i like to use it for when i'm robbing a train <laughs> i just think it's an excellent I just think it's an excellent little mask to have if you decide you're going to hold somebody up. I mean, who would actually, who would actually take you on looking like that? <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Okay, so this one has actually two items for us to pick up. So we are south from where we were, from the R in New Hanover. We're west of um, Van Horn. So we're going to enter the fort and we're going to go to this building here. And in the back, around the boxes, you will find a, another basement area that you can climb down into. Now, there are quite a few things down here that you can pick up. Little snack things and tonics and that. There's a few of them. 
But you're not here for that. You're here for a weapon that you can find right here. Just set out in the open on a crate. It's called the Civil War Knife. Nice little item. And definitely looks kind of evil. We'll get you a better picture of that. And in one corner of the basement, you will find the Civil War Hardy Hat. Which uh, I am now trying to show you here. But I don't... There we go. Don't look... You can see you kind of get an idea what it's like. So anyway... Let's go on to the next item. Okay, and for the next item, we want to be in the swamp area now. So we're just north of uh, Saint Denis, and this is just on the L of La Quay. And we, you will find a shack that's kind of busted down in the back. Now, you need to go in here, but you are going to have to crouch down to get in because of the, of the back is kind of waterlogged. But it's no problem, just duck through. There you go, and then you'll find a little ledge to jump up onto, and here you will find the cat skull mask, which is another freaky looking item. <laughs> ah, you want to love these things. Anyway, let's move on. So we are nearly at the end of our journey for unique hacks, masks, and weapons. And for this one, we're going to be south of Saint Denis, not too far. But we're just going to be on these little islands here. Be careful. There are a lot of alligators around. So you might have to shoot a few of them first just to make sure you're clear. But when you get onto the island I'm on, you will find what is the best melee weapon in the game. It is the broken pirate sword. It's actually still about half sword look. That's why it's so good. So uh, I'll give you a look at that. And there it is. And of course this one can't be thrown. It's just for melee only. It can replace your knife. So let's get on to what is the final item of this uh, little guide that we're doing. Okay, so for the final item I can get to, you need to get to the island that is just west of the camp you have, that is uh, west of Rhodes. So Rhodes is not far away. And you want to go over here, it's where you get iguanas, one of the few places you can get iguanas also. You can actually ride over on your horse, it isn't that deep, but a boat is, uh, is quicker, I must admit. So you go over here and go over to the other side of the beach, you'll find this uh, this ship or boat that's quite messed up. Go in and just make yourself to the back and you'll find here the tricorn hat, which is like your old uh, navy admiral kind of hat, which looks kind of cool. I must admit I do like it. Out of the hats, it's probably my second favourite. It does look pretty cool. So uh, there you go. I'm trying to style, look stylish in it for you. And uh, that's it. That is the last of the unique items that I can actually get to. There are uh, There is another gun and another mask in the Blackwater area. New Austin, I think it's called. So there's them two. Also, I did mention there's a quest where you can end up getting three more guns. I'm, I haven't got any footage of that, so I'm going to put a link in the description that'll take you to a video that explains that quest for you. So what I want to say is a quick thank you. For, uh, watching if you've gone all the way through this I hope you enjoy finding these items it's quite an adventure going around finding them all it took me took me a good few hours but it were a lot of fun and uh, I hope you have a lot of fun with them so remember if you've enjoyed this or if it's been helpful or anything remember to drop a like comment if you wish if there's anything I've missed please tell me in the comments and I'll certainly uh, take a look and don't forget to look at the video to get the three guns from the gunslingers. And I will see you soon. You take really good care. And goodbye for now.